water. What is water? It is what fills 71% of the earth. It's the one responsible for harboring life in the planet. It is really important. It controls our weather. It helps the plants grow. It also maintains the temperature of the planet to avoid getting hotter and hotter. Humans really rely on water for their food, for household purposes like cleaning and bathing, and for industrial purposes. But today, as we can see, water is getting more and more destroyed because of pollution. So what is water pollution? Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies such as oceans, rivers, and streams, usually as a result of human activities. It is where contaminants were introduced into the natural environment and will eventually result to marine life destruction, health risks, and diseases. Our first stop is in Linamon where we were able to document human waste approaching the shoreline. We could also see the people still enjoying their swim despite of this. We went back to Iligan City and documented the canals and drainages like this one which was located near Trendline in Aguinaldo. Although water pollution has become very rampant to the point where we didn't even have a hard time documenting, some people are trying their best in fighting this problem, just like this one near Gaisano Mall. They made this creek into a koi pond to prove that the water in their area is clean. To prove that water pollution is not only happening in public or crowded areas, we decided to go and document some in Palao. We saw this creek beside a food house. It is close to the city hospital and it is also located near a school. Compared to the creeks and drainages in the city, this one gives off more disturbing odor. We also went to the Palao River. While climbing the bridge to see a better view, we were able to observe that a pipe from a pig's cage is connected directly to the river. The next day, we decided to document the creek in Iligan starting from San Miguel up to Mandawe Foam in Saray Tibanga Highway. When we arrived at the location, it was a very disappointing sight. The creeks looked like garbage dumps and there was no sight of clean water at all. The people of Iligan City have certainly done minimal things to keep our streets and water clean. People are being left uneducated and ignorant of the growing problem that is increasingly affecting many lives locally and internationally.
aku aja sekrik eh. Tapi ini semendawe aja dah Mama mendaku Gavit biak Tere, aku yang mengingat sekrik tere Impi ogaw Sama sama utop I was just a bird So, kena nak krik Kay Gikat sa San Miguel Kanina na Creek Baliktado niya sa Mandaway Home Wala may kapo Kawala ba lang mga anak Padulong mo So The problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on these water bodies. Human produced litter of items such as plastic bags can get aquatic animals caught and killed from suffocation. Water pollution causes flood due to the accumulation of solid waste and soil erosion in streams and rivers. Eventually, humans are affected by this process as well. People can get diseases such as hepatitis by eating seafood that has been poisoned. In many poor nations, there is always outbreak of cholera and diseases as a result of poor drinking water treatment from contaminated waters. Nature is one of the causes of water pollution. Nature is one of the causes of water pollution. We can see it during landslides. Eroded soil were deposited into bodies of water in trees their leaves fall down into the coastal waters, to name a few. But unlike human-related causes, 
their destruction is only minimal and lasts for a short period of time. It will eventually sink into the bottom and will be decomposed. Human-related activities are far more destructive. Improper waste disposal including garbage, human and animal wastes, and hazardous chemicals greatly help in water pollution. It contaminates the water bodies. Also, the sewerage systems in the city is also one of the human-related factors affecting the water bodies. Unfiltered city water will eventually flow out of the canals and into the seas, tagging along with them tons of plastics and waste materials. For us to stop water pollution. Therefore, we must start in our own simple ways. It's because there is no single shortcut in ending it. We should change our own lifestyle and habits for the betterment of our water bodies. Here are some ways in order for us to minimize water pollution. Number one, minimize the use of plastics. A single plastic is almost immortal. It degrades in a very, very slow rate. Therefore, it will remain afloat in oceans for several years and eventually harming marine life. Using less plastic includes avoid dining out in fast food chains, buying products with less plastics, avoid using straws, use your own utensils such as spoon, fork, metal straw, and water bottles. Reuse and recycle waste. Waste such as rubber, metal, and plastics are still reusable. Water bottles should not be thrown away immediately. It should be reused as containers in the household. Plastic bags must be reused in carrying things such as groceries. If the materials are not reusable, it must be recycled into usable ones. Number three, avoid disposing household waste in the environment. Chemical household items such as detergents, soaps, medicines, including physical waste, such as tissue papers, dental floss, small plastic wrappers must not be thrown in drainages such as sinks and toilets. It would eventually arrive into the canals and into the oceans. It would cause great damage to the oceans in large amounts. Environmental friendly materials. One should use detergents and soaps without microbeads. This can affect fishes when ingested, leading to the destruction of marine wildlife. Use shopping bags which is not plastic and reusable. Live near rivers and streams. Could lessen the risks of wastes going into the waters. Living away rivers could also lessen the risks of being hit by flash floods. Be part of the solution, not part of the